You know guys, ever since MW2019, I I've just had this feeling that something shifted in Call of Duty where no matter what they do, there's just no doing right. Like, they, they can theoretically do everything right, quote unquote, but in execution, the games always turn out like this. If you remember what this is, <laughs> you're a goat, let's just say that. But seriously guys, Black Ops 6 was finally officially announced and we have the cover art, we have a full description of it, we have a whole lot of other information about the game. And I'm just gonna be upfront with you guys, because I know a lot of you guys might be wondering, am I gonna buy this game? Am I hyped for it? Do I think this is the savior of Call of Duty? The answer to pretty much all your questions is a very large, outstanding, <laughs> FUCK NO! Nope, not at all, no, no. And it's not necessarily because I predict that this game's going to suck. I don't actually think this next game's going to be half bad, honestly. Just based off of all the leaks and information that we have about it. The thing that gets me is the fact that I've done like four or five years of just absolute dog shit. Like none of these last four or five games since MW 2019 have been anything good in quality. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I know there's a lot of MW2019 fans out there. That game is horrible. Worst multiplayer experience in Call of Duty history. I will die on that hill. Black Ops Cold War. Treyarch's worst COD of all time. Rushed. Short-term lifespan. Vanguard. I'm just gonna pretend this game never existed. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2. An extension to the worst multiplayer experience of all time. And then, Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3, Sledgehammer Games got handicap compensation, and they made do with pretty much the exact copy and paste of MW 2019 Part 2, just excluding fucking stupidity. That's pretty much all that game is. And with Black Ops 6, Treyarch has had four fucking years to work on this game. And that is the first thing that I actually think contributes to maybe an actual title in Call of Duty in the modern era, in the dark ages of COD, that could actually be somewhat decent. That's the first step. We'll talk about everything else that they can do to make this game at least somewhat palatable. But first, this is the official description of the game. This comes out from Modern Warzone. He says, Breaking. The official description of Black Ops 6 has been posted early on the Xbox Store and it confirms a few leaks we've already seen, such as 16 multiplayer maps at launch. The Black Ops 6 campaign provides dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay that includes a variety of play spaces with blockbuster set pieces and action-packed moments, high-stakes heists, and a cloak and dagger spy activity. In a best-in-class multiplayer experience, players will test their skills across 16 new maps at launch including 12 core 6v6 maps and 4 strike maps that can be played as 2v2 or 6v6. Black Ops 6 also marks the epic return of round-based zombies, the fan-favorite mode where players will take down hordes of the undead and two brand new maps at launch. Post-launch, players can look forward to even more exciting maps and groundbreaking experiences dropping into both multiplayer and zombies. And guys, we're not gonna lie to ourselves. Some of this stuff is actually good stuff, all right? You can call me a hater, you can say that I hate Call of Duty and I do nothing but talk shit for money and views and all this other shit, whatever. We're gonna be straight up honest. 16 maps at launch and they're claiming that they're new maps by the way They're not saying remastered maps the same way that this stupid dog shit game came out Black Ops 6 is going to have new maps 16 of them at launch and even though only 12 of them are true 6v6 maps the other four maps can be played as 6v6 as well, something that we also saw in Cold War, which was actually a good addition. Now, the other leak that I've seen come out about this game that I genuinely want to be true. This isn't to make a top five Call of Duty. I don't think this next game is going to be a top five Call of Duty, and I'll get into that pretty soon. If they want to get back on track to even get the possibility of landing an accomplishment like that again, this needs to be true. Leak claims the classic prestige system is returning in Black Ops 6. Now guys, we understand why they stopped with the prestige system. It's because they wanted to have this whole stupid seasonal content bullshit 
with the battle pass, and a lot of fucking morons ate that shit up at the expense of getting rid of prestiging. Now, obviously, after a couple of years, some of these people finally started to realize that, hey, you know what? Prestiging is actually way better than this shit. Why do we keep it this way? If this leak is true and we get prestiging back, even if we continue with this bullshit seasonal content, if they happen to give us classic prestiging back, this will be one of the greatest things that Call of Duty has done in the last five to six years. Now guys, with all that being said and all of those great things that we just talked about, do I think this game has what it takes to be a top five COD? Absolutely the flying fuck not. No. Why? Because we are still in the fallout of Modern Warfare 2019. And this era, this Dark Ages of COD era, of Call of Duty. It is still here. Yes, they can paint it in a much better way, they could present it way better, they could be a lot more prepared, but at the end of the day, the skeleton is the exact same shit that we've seen for years. And what do I mean by that? The first thing is I still think SBMM is going to be fucking hands-on clapping ass in this game. The same way it has been for the last four or five years. They can claim that they're going to reduce it. They can claim that they're going to work on it and improve it and update it and be more open about the communication with it. I call bullshit. At the end of the day, these motherfuckers have one goal in mind. Not Treyarch, but Activision. They have one goal in mind, money. Yeah, now listen! And if SBMM has done anything for Call of Duty, it is not to retain the player's attention. It is not to keep people who are shitters playing with shitters and people that are good playing with people that are good for the good of the world. They are doing it for the sake of gaining more money. The same shit is going to be true in Black Ops 6. I'm calling it right now. This game is going to have horrifying fucking SBMM the same way that we've had over the last few years. The next thing that we're doing that is still the exact same as MW 2019 is for whatever ungodly fucking reason, even though they've had four years, four fucking years to work on something different and come up with something different, we still have Gunsmith with the possibility of having eight fucking attachments on your gun. I don't care if it's one of those perks or wild cards that gives you eight attachments instead of fucking five. Five attachments on your gun is bullshit. We need to go back to pick 10. You've had four years to concoct a method of having this work. And I apologize to all the slow ass motherfuckers out there that think pick 10 is too complicated of a system. You are fucking slow. I'm sorry, there's no other way to put it. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to work on an actual valid pick 10 system or come up with something new. Get rid of Gunsmith. The shit is too fucking ridiculously stupid. It just seems like an extra way to over monetize things because we have an abundance of customization in the game. Maybe some of you guys aren't ready for that conversation, but that's pretty much what the point of this shit is. The next thing that is highly concerning, and this goes for a lot of people that are playing on console especially, Black Ops 6 will be approximately 309 gigabytes to install. Guys, what the fuck? Now guys, I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade. Obviously, if a game's been developed for the last four years, it's gonna be a large ass game. The issue is, Activision has announced several times that they're gonna cut down on how fat these installs are and how fat these updates are, and those are simply just fucking lies. Okay, they want us to also play Warzone at the same time. We'll talk about that in a separate video, but Warzone is sticking around and they want us to keep that fat ass piece of shit for another 250 gigabytes. And here's another game with another 300 gigabytes. Now, if you're on PC, Maybe you're one of those guys that has a terabyte of SSD storage. Maybe you have two terabytes. Congratulations. A lot of people, the majority of their player base at least, is on console. And don't even get me started on the people on last gen. We're not going to talk about them in this video. We'll talk about that in a later video as well. Let's pretend everybody has a PS5 or the newest Xbox. A terabyte of storage max. Maybe. And for half of that to already be for Warzone and Black Ops 6, that is just unrealistically, ridiculously fucking stupid. I'm sorry. If you have the original PS5, I don't remember how much storage this shit has. If it has like 512 gigabytes of storage, I mean, you're fucking chalked. There is no reason for this game to be that fucking fat. This isn't Red Dead Redemption. This isn't fucking GTA. It's a Call of Duty game, all right? Keep it fucking simple. And guys, finally, my favorite part about this, and I can also make a full video separately about this specifically, Black Cell returning 
in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 by Treyarch. Why is this surprising and why is this bad? Well, first of all, it's bad because, I mean, Black Cell just literally announces to the world that you're a fucking virgin. That's just the reality of it. If you buy Black Cell, you literally actively contribute to the downfall of quality in Call of Duty games because they stop prioritizing the actual gameplay and they start over prioritizing monetization and customization that is behind a paywall. That is the entire point of Black Cell. There is no other benefit to it other than just announcing to the world that you're a virgin because you paid extra money like a fucking moron to slightly look different to other people in the game. Not even for yourself, it's a first person shooter, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Most people that buy cosmetics in COD, they are shitters. A lot of these content creators that buy bundles and promote all of these microtransactions and get Black Cell every single season, a lot of their gameplay is falsified anyways. A lot of these guys are fucking phonies. They reverse boost in two box to get into shitter lobbies with SBMM that is cranked down like Korean fucking savage shitting on disabled girls. When in reality, a lot of these people that promote this shit, they are absolute pissers. Alright, they suck. Most people that buy these bundles and hop in ranked play, I can tell you from experience, they suck ass. Top 3% in the world again guys, you know the Scat Masters and Crimson in ranked play. This is pretty high up there with the top of the top. Anybody you come across wearing these ridiculous stupid skins, they suck. And now, on top of that, I've always assumed that Black Cell is just a virgin mechanic created by Infinity Ward and promoted by Sledgehammer Games because they have no identity. Now to see Treyarch adopt this, not only does it seem disingenuous, but it kind of just proves my claim a little bit more, or at least it reinforces it, that we are still in the fallout of these Infinity War titles and Sledgehammer Games titles. I don't know if this is actually going to be the crazy different experience that people are expecting. I can hope for this game to be amazing. I can hope that 300 gigabytes worth of storage is actually going towards something good and four years of development time and fucking work hours by a lot of talented people is actually going to result in something great. But guys, I would be lying if I told you that I did not have second thoughts on this and that I was not at least skeptical that some way, somehow, this is not going to turn out as crazy as a lot of people think. It could be very good, and as a matter of fact, I predict this is gonna be better than anything MW 2019 through the present day. Does that make it a good Call of Duty game though? The answer is no. I'm just being honest, I'm not here to lie to you guys. MW 2019 through 2019 part three, none of those games are good games. Some of them are a little bit more tolerable than others, but that doesn't make them good games. Black Ops 6, I predict, is going to be a lot better than some of those games, but still not scratching the surface of a top 5 COD of all time. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I see it. I know a lot of other people see it that way. And if you want to argue against it, this is me telling you, this is me telling the Gooch Lickers, and this is me telling Treyarch, prove me wrong. I would like nothing more than to be wrong about this. And as a side note, even though I think this is going to be a superior title to the last few CODs, I'm still not buying this game. I support Treyarch. I love a lot of these guys. I think they're very talented. They came up with some of the greatest Call of Duties of all time. They're not getting my money, I'm sorry, but we're, we're past that point, all right? We can all thank MW2019 and MW2019 Part 2 specifically for just completely chalking the mere idea and consideration of me supporting these developers with money ever the fuck again. And if Black Ops 6 is an absolute banger and it proves me wrong and it's a top five COD of all time definitively, then yeah, maybe I'll think about actually purchasing Call of Duty titles again. But for the time being, I'm sorry, but this game still hasn't done it for me. We haven't actually gotten our hands on it. So my opinion is only based off of the things that we do know, and that is in those leaks and in this description. And so far, some of these things sound pretty good and a lot of these things still sound pretty fucking shit. And is the combination of those two things create or generate a top five cod no and you also know that it doesn't either but i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see guys hopefully black ops 6 is a banger but i would i would make my hopes and expectations at least somewhat realistic honestly but that's gonna do it for me today guys i'm curious to know what you guys think about this are you hyped up for black ops 6 where do you think it's gonna rank in the all times of call of duty games let me know down in the comments below and if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new Hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. 
I'm out of here. Toodles.